Hey everyone and welcome to today's video which is going to be a tutorial slash how I color um, and kind of like a how to color on the hand cosmic paper with the Arteza pencil because I've had a little problems with them um, on the, this paper and the Maria Troll page uh, paper so I figured I want to do it kind of like that as well and as someone asked me to do this video a while ago and the hurricane happened and then it just kind of got slipped on the rug and now I'm doing it so today I'm going to show you how to do fall leaves or how I do fall leaves and I threw I was going to do a flower I couldn't figure out what to do with the flowers but I found a combination that I liked and wanted to do for this picture so let's go ahead, go ahead and start and I'll show you the one we're going to be coloring or I'm going to be coloring on today is this there we go I have to focus on the, the back page I'm going to flip it this way so it's upside down, it's, it's right side up now. It looks like it's standing. But we're gonna do some fall leaves for the fall, uh, the leaves here, and then some flowers here um, in the colors. So I have them all swatched out. This is what it'll look like on the paper then. So for the fall leaves, we're gonna be using four colors for the Artezas. We're gonna be using lemon. So we can zoom in. Get, there we go. We're gonna be using lemon. We're be using pumpkin. Be using blood orange and carmine red from that's lightest dark, and then for the flowers, we're gonna be using periwinkle, eggplant, and blueberry. I kind of struggled with trying to figure out um, the color combination for the flowers because I can't really I can't really think of fall color for flowers, so I just went with purple and dark like dark blue purple because that kind of seems like a fall color to me. So I'm gonna zoom you in, and we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you the process of it. Um, I'm gonna get it right in here, and we'll do some of these flowers. You will see this full finished page on my channel. I'm gonna do a speed color of this for the Halloween season. So you just zoom me right there. So I did have a little problem with the paper on the Maria Troll the uh, Arteza, so we're gonna try to attempt to do this, but. Um, Basically, what you're going to do is from light to dark, and then kind of shade it as you go. So, I'm going to take the lemon. Why am I picking up all the pencils? I need to pick up one at a time. We're going to take our lemon, which is um, A004. If you're um, using number system instead of the names, and you're just going to kind of, not going to kind of, you're going to come in here and just do a very, a very, very light layer throughout the whole flower. Basically, a very light pressure, just kind of tint the paper with the color of lemon. I'm going to kind of go, I'm going to do every single flower on this one, and I'll show, I will show a full flower. So, you know, what, I, one thing I found with the Artesis on this paper is it kind of just absorbs right into the paper, and like really fast, and like if you're using the lightest pressure possible, you have to use the lightest, you know, slightly lighter than the lightest pressure possible. Now I'm going to take in the pumpkin, and I'm going to kind of go in where I want the shadows. I'm going to kind of just go, uh, do um, darker along the center stem here, and the outside have like a little lighter part in the middle side part there. So I'll show you how to go kind of up in the tip part. And you're going to sun, it's, when it kind of gets oop, down to this area here, you're going to kind of split apart and go about halfway through the leaf. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Just had a little bit in the middle there of yellow. We gotta do that again on this side. And for the middle one here, what I'm gonna do is um, go about halfway up through and leave the middle part um, light with the yellowish color. So it looks like that right there. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of these flowers or these leaves here. See, so yeah, I kind of had a little bit of trouble with the Artezas on this paper. Um, but if you start off very extremely light, like if you, your lightest pressure, go slightly lighter than that. So like have um, a spare piece of paper and do it that way and test, you know, if you barely want to put pressure on there, at least as I've found that the lightest pressure is basically too heavy. You have to go slightly lighter than that um, on here. At least that's what I have noticed. But these are working slightly better than the last time, so I, w I, I could be that was coming from a part of 
I went from um, not using the Arteza for a little, like I took a small break from using them. So I might have just kind of used a little too much pressure. So that's what your leaves will look like if you're following along. Then we're going to come in with the second darkest color. And basically you're going to do the same areas, just not as far out on the orange. So this is blood orange. You're going to kind of just go along the outsides. And you could do each and every single individual one and not go over the black lines. But that just that just sounds like a little too much of a long time process. So I just go right over the black lines. And if I want to redefine them a little bit more, I can kind of come in with a black... Um, pencil because the black in the Arteza pencils I think is even better than the Prisma black. Actually the white and the black is actually better in my opinion than the um, Art are the than the Prismas. So there you go. Let me grab this so I can get the excess. So that's what your least look like now the blood orange. So I'm gonna keep doing this ones over here and do the same exact thing. And if you go over a little further than you want to, you know, you can kind of just go back in, like, say, um, with your pumpkin, the second color, and kind of just bring it out even a little further. It kind of just shrinks the area of where the lemon, you can see the lemon. Or if you're not following along, you just want to see the, how the color turns out, you can just, you know, do them under leaves however you want and just use the color combination if you'd like to. So I figure since it is Halloween, or like the Halloween season, the fall season, it'd be a perfect time to do this. And I wanted to finish this picture for a speed color that I'm going to post probably like around Halloween. Um, and this is from the Summer Nights one, because I that's all your Hannah Carls and I have. I want to get more of them, but right now, this is what I have. So we're coloring Summer and the Fall. So now with the Carmine Red, which is our darkest color, and go pretty much like around the edges of everything that we just did and kind of just deepen it up a little more. Like take the, there we go, take the edge, uh, the tip off of it. And then just gonna kind of deepen everything up and you're using it about, uh, about a like a light pressure throughout the whole time. We won't use a hard pressure until we go back in with the lemon at the final time to kind of burnish and blend everything together. And one thing where I will say with these, with Arteza's, I have noticed even with the Prismas that um, in my, you know, coloring ability, um, the paper does kind of fill up with pigment fast, so light layers through every single time will be, like, the best way for you. Because I was able to layer twice with the Prismas, um, with using very light layers, and then I think with RTs it'll be just, like, a one-time layer, you know, of each color. And I use, I one, I say one layer when I go from, like, one way to the darkest and then dark all the way back to the lightest. That's one layer to me. So we're going to deepen this up. To be like that. And then we're going to skip over adding any more of the blood orange into it. We're going to go right back to the pumpkin and you're going to kind of go with now like light medium pressure and you're just going to kind of go in circles and bring this pumpkin out into the middle area and this is where you can kind of determine how much of the lemon you want in the middle. If you don't want any of the lemon in the middle, you want a tiny little line like this one here, that's kind of what you can do. You can kind of judge how you want it yourself. And the reason I want to skip over the um, the blood orange, because I don't want it too like reddish color. I want it to be a little more orangish. And if you want to as well, I looked up at different pictures of fall leaves. Um, some had more brown into it. Some had more green into it. But I kind of want to go a little bit more. Um, I probably picked up the, the black there, but we can go over that. There's no problem. Um, I want to make it a little bit more just kind of green and kind of almost Halloweenish, I guess you could say, for fall leaves. Because when I think of fall colors, I think of like bright oranges and reds. So that's kind of what I want to do and kind of do it that way. So now, for the lemon, we're going to come in here with the medium hard pressure to burnish everything. Make sure you have your protector page in the back. I have an old manila envelope. That way the pictures don't rub off on each other. And basically you're just going to come down and go through and just kind of blend everything together. And what I'm going to do with this one is kind of avoid the black line so that way they don't lift up. 
because the Artises are a harder lead pencil. They are, you know, softer and blendable, but they are harder yet. So they can kind of scratch the black line like it did there. So just kind of go through. And I'll zoom you out so you can kind of see the far out um, look of it. And then we'll go on to this flower here. And I'm going to do this the whole page, these colors on the outside for the flowers. And like I said, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I will film and then speed everything up um, for a speed color at the end of this month. There you go. There's what are the fall leaves will look like. Like I said, you can add a little more brown into it, a little more green into it, but there you go. That's what it looks like that. And then when you zoom out, it looks like that right there. And that will be the whole leaves for the rest of the picture I'll be doing. And so now I zoom me in and we'll use the um, blues I pick out for the flowers. Like I said, let's go back over this one more time. It's periwinkle, eggplant, eggplant, and blueberry. And those are the numbers there if you had to look them up for the numbers. Um, we're going to be using lightest to darkest and then darkest back to lightest, the same kind of way we did for the uh, the leaves. Okay, zoom in there. And I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to kind of shade around this and go over it. So um, you can kind of do it the same way if you want to or do it in your own way. So what I'm going to do is to put the periwinkle very lightly over the whole flower. But yeah, like I said, I had a hard time picking out like a flower color because I think for me this right here is the color that I use for most um this orange one is what I use for most um like autumn uh, aut autismal or uh, what autumn colors fall colors um so I was trying to find something that goes with it and I like these two colors together so we're gonna go with bluish purple and then I'm gonna take now the eggplant and I'm gonna shade around the three quarters of the way up part you're gonna leave a little tip on the top and then go down like that and very lightly feather in a little bit using barely any pressure kind of just kind of mixing it together to look like that so it's going to look from like this to that and we're going to go down every single flower that one i forgot to leave a little bigger of a tip but you know it happens not every flower petal is the same and that's the nice thing about it is if you're coloring and you um Add a little too much color or different areas, different one. Not every flower petal, not every leaf, not everything is going to be the same in person in real life. So, little imperfection is perfect in your coloring pages because not everything is perfect in real life. And I'm going to leave these dots here differently because I'm going to probably come in with um, a white um, paint pen and um, put them in a little white dot in the middle there. But if you don't want to use a white paint pen, you can use a white gel pen, or you can just color them in and put the darker dots um, in there. So I'm going to use the blueberry now, and we're going to go over around the edges. Let me take the tip off a little bit. You kind of go around the edges here, and bring it in ever so slightly. And you very lightly kind of feather it up at the bottom and the sides there. Like that. And you do that with all of the flowers. So that's what the blueberries gonna look like. Now we're gonna go back to the eggplant and go all the way back down to the periwinkle. And gonna basically go over all the colors here and just kind of feather and blend it all together very lightly. You're using probably medium to medium light pressure. Because you don't want to burnish until you use the lightest color to blend it all together. Just continue deepening it up.
and I'm going to take our periwinkle and I'm going to blend burnish to get out medium high pressure. And there you go, I brushed the excess off there, and there you go, there is the autumn flower, uh, autumn leaves and kind of a flower to match with it, with the artisas. Let me zoom out, so that's what it looks like there. And just to show you, I'm going to take a break really quick and get my paint pen out and show you what I'm going to do with the, uh, the rest of the picture. Okay, so my paint pen went a little wonky on me, so I have some white acrylic paint. I'm going to shake it up, and you're going to take the cap here. We're gonna get your paint off. Just take your excess. Yeah, that we have a dirty um, a, a paint dish. Zoom me in. And we're going to put it in here. Not there. Just kind of dot it like this. Works the same as a paint pen, you just have to go clean your brush afterwards. Just like that. That's what I'm gonna do with the rest of the flowers. So that way it looks just like that there when you are done. And like I said, the paint is a little optional thing, but that's what it looks like. Flip you back over the right way. That's the way it looks on the picture. So I hope everyone enjoyed this um, how to or how I color type of video. And until next time, hope you all have an amazing day and happy coloring.